Hello, welcome to episode 15 of Being Effective with Upnote, this YouTube series that I'm putting together all about how to use Upnote and the different features of this amazing note-taking application. As you can see on the screen today, we're thinking about slash commands. Now, this is a new feature, been released quite recently. Uh, it's a feature that I've seen requested quite a bit on Reddit, maybe a few months back uh, and beyond. And it's a feature that's popular in a lot of other applications like Notion, uh, ClickUp has slash commands and a few other apps as well. Uh, last month, I think it was, um, they released it and it is brilliant. Basically, any editor commands that you can think of within Upnote that you could access via this editor menu down here on the bottom, or you can access via one of the many keyboard shortcuts, you can now access via a slash command. I'm going to demonstrate that for you. Now, when you press forward slash, you get this pop-up box, little menu uh, with a complete list of everything you can access. But by typing the words of what you want to do, then as you would expect, that list gets shorter and shorter and shorter, filtered down until the command you want is highlighted. For example, if I wanted to put a quote in, I can put a quote in with a slash command. Let's get rid of that. If I wanted to change the color, I can make the color red. If I wanted to make it yellow, uh, I can make it yellow. Uh, if I wanted to remove formatting, I can do that as well. Let's do some highlighting uh, and so on. Uh, you can even put in tables. You can put in tables. They end up being square tables using this, so 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, etc, etc, etc. But basically, anything that is in this list you can type in. So you've got your different headings, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, you sh I should just say here, I'm navigating this menu using my arrow keys on the keyboard. Uh, you can change the formatting, bold, italic, underline, etc, and then back, text colour, um, all those different colours there, and then back to the default, highlight, colour, list, checklist, bullet list, number list, and then indenting, etc. Alignment, you can change that. You can add a table, as I showed you. You can add in the date in all of these different formats. You can add in the time. You can insert a divider. Uh, collapsible sections, quote, code, code block, link, image, file, video, formula. You can even apply a template at any point in the uh, within the note now, which is something I think they've added. So you can type, type, type your note, and then in the middle of the note, add a template, and then you can press this button at the bottom to remove all of that formatting. And it just works. And it's really good. Now, the next video... Uh, I will do is uh, about keyboard shortcuts but when it comes to the editor itself everything that you might want to do with a keyboard shortcut you can now do with a slash command. Keyboard shortcuts are best used for things like um, adding or moving a note within notebooks, doing searches etc etc etc. But with the slash commands with the double square brackets for linking and with the hashtag for inserting an inline tag, you can do pretty much anything that you would want to do within the note itself using these very, very, very simple keyboard shortcuts of either the slash command, the hashtag, or the double open brackets. Now, one thing that I do think is amazing about this that sets it apart from something like Notion, for example, is the slash commands work on my mobile phone as well. If I'm using Notion, uh, the slash commands work great on my computer, but they don't work on the phone. Whereas with Upnote, the slash commands work on the computer, they work on my Android tablet, and they work on my Android phone as well. So there you have it, slash commands, a brilliant new addition to an already fantastic application. And as I said, the next video is going to be about keyboard shortcuts, so please do stay tuned for that. If you want to see that video and if you want to see my other videos in the future, then please do subscribe to the channel. There's a subscribe button down there on the screen right now. Please do like this video if you found it valuable and check out these 
other videos that are showing up on your screen right now. Uh, have a look at those to see more of my content and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.